Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 17th, 2020. Well, yesterday, as I was putting together the morning market prep, we were pushing up in the market. The bulls were uh, very inspired to move on higher, and then we got news from Moderna on their uh, vaccine um, trials that are proving to be extremely responsive um, in the coronavirus and the market surged dramatically after that news so that puts us in in to even a more extended condition in this market but what does that mean for this morning well how about we grab ourselves something to drink saddle in and let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we're kind of, well, coming off of a major party yesterday, a bull party, and it looks like we have just a little tiny bit of a hangover uh, this morning with um, a little pullback. Not a big surprise after extending so hard and so far yesterday to run into a little bit of profit-taking um, wave coming into the market. Now that could certainly shift because we have a lot of data coming out this morning. So we're not done with the uh, potential volatility that we are um, seeing in the market this morning. So let's uh, dig in here and let's take a look at the chart itself, see what we can glean from that. First off, one of the things we wanna notice is we broke through, we made a new record high yesterday in the diamonds. And we are so very, very close to reaching up here to 300 or 30,000 in the Dow. Now those big round numbers can be very, very um, important um, in how the market moves. Now you have to know that they've already got the hats printed. There's boxes sitting all over the floor. Um, uh, all of the trading floors and the photographers are on hand to take pictures of the breakout of the 30,000 um, hats. And I think it seems very likely that institutions are not going to fail to reach that headline. They want that headline. And I suspect that they will probably do it. Unfortunately, with all of the news and events out there, it may not be a straight line to there. As a matter of fact, we could see some wild volatility. We could see um, intraday um, whipsaws. We could see... Um, large overnight reversals on this path to reach up there because these uh, pandemic numbers just continue to drive and, and, and any, any issue around pandemic um, continues to drive this market and um, raise emotion um, overall. So as we work for that, and I think they're going to achieve it, just understand that the path there may not be smooth or easy. Let's take a look at what's happening this morning. As you can see right here, this is the pre-market candle here this morning, and we're pushing back down. That's going to place us with just that possibility of a little resistance um, right here in the chart. Now we can certainly overcome that pretty easily with some news, events, something along those lines. But just note that we do have a gap below and that possibility that if the sellers really pile on here, we could push down into that gap below. Um, also, we need to recognize the fact that we are extremely extended in this market. If we take a look at um, the Dow itself and just measure from our low. And remember, this was not very long ago. Um, two weeks ago, we were down here and now we have rallied um, in yesterday's move. We have rallied 3,750 points in such a short period of time. That creates um, a very extended position where if we just get any kind of a bearish move, um, we could see that profit-taking wave really take over and people bail 
on that move. So we're going to have to be very careful as we continue to extend up here. If we look at our technicals, notice that we are extremely extended away from our 50 day moving average. And anytime I have ever seen the market extend this far away from the 50 day moving average, we can expect some kind of pullback or at a bare minimum, a longer term consolidation to absorb this big move. So just know that that possibility exists and plan carefully. One of the things we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be chasing already extended stocks as we press and press and press. Remember, we've got about 50 points between um, where, we, where we closed yesterday and Dow 30,000. We could make that very easily, but we could also see several hundred point drops before we actually make it there. So just kind of keep that in mind and uh, weigh those risks very carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also reaching up, but notice we didn't quite make that breakout point couldn't quite break through to get that new record high. Now, one thing that may help this or hurt it, um, uh, could be both ways, is um, we heard last night after the bell that Tesla was going to be added to the S&P 500. So that move can certainly add a pretty big weighted stock to uh, the S&P 500, helping the average. But let's keep an eye on this. There is that real possibility of a lower high failure here in the chart. So we pushed up and noticed that we could be um, turning around here, a little profit taking this morning, and a possible lower high. I'm not going to be majorly concerned about that unless we start to fill the gap of yesterday or even drift down here and break this eight exponential moving average. If we can stay above that, I'm going to stay bullish in the market. But I will be watching for that possibility because that shift could occur anytime. We just could see that profit taking wave that comes in at any time because we are so extended from our 50 day moving average just so just stay on your toes don't um don't be um wildly chasing or over trading a market that's this extended let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq has struggled continues to struggle and there's still an awful lot of news out there with people hoping and betting and praying that the nasdaq will ultimately lead the market but if we are honest with ourselves and we look across here we've just barely broken back through this downtrend in the chart and we're still well below these resistance highs that we show here in the chart. So although we are trying to come back a little bit, we're trying to get that little inspiration. And notice today the the tech sector is trying to overcome the selling that's coming in to the diamonds and the spy. So we're trying to lift this back up, but let's watch that closely. Um, that possibility that we could still um, reach that lower high point and see those sellers come into the market. So let's make it prove. Once we move up this much in here, I'm going to go to a, a what I call a naked chart. After we have moved this far off of this swing low, just realize that any pullback in here uh, to test some support, that actually gives us that higher low or that possible for the possibility for that trend. So watch that closely in case we um, do happen to set that lower high. Um, it's it could go either way here and it all depends on um, how these news events continue to roll out let's take a look at um, IWM now IWM has been um, particularly strong and um, it's a good thing to see honestly that we have held up so well and you can see pushing up here breaking through these resistance levels and holding them as support was a good key indicator for that possibility of moving on higher. Now we're reaching out here, trying to break these, um, oh, breaking into all time record highs here in the small caps. And we're still holding that up. 
but we also have that condition where we are extremely overextended from our 50 day moving average and even um, quite extended away from just the eight exponential moving average. And you can see that possibility that we could slip this morning and maybe even drop into that gap. So be a little bit careful. There could be a little bit of whippiness here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday, um, it was nice to see that while we're moving up and we're setting new record highs that the VIX is actually pulling back. But let's notice that we really didn't do any um, uh, great service here in the VIX. We still remain above 20 handles in the VIX and we're still clinging to that 500 day moving average. We just can't seem to break down through that level. So be a little bit careful here. However, I, I will um, continue to mention that th this um, trend that we broke to the upside was not able to hold as support. That is a good sign. And if we were to get some kind of a rally back, I would look for a failure in this area um, of the chart. So watch that closely. Fear is still out there in that 20 handle, um, 22 handle. Um, uh, VIX says there is still a significant opportunity for wild volatility and price action. So we're going to have to be careful. Let's take a look at T2122. This is the one that gives me the most concern right now. T2122 finished the day extremely elevated. I mean, all the way up here. Um, we're just, uh, we're up here in rarefied air. And this is showing an extreme overbought condition for the very short term. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that that means we absolutely have to fall. What that can mean is we go into a longer term consolidation, just kind of choppy consolidation. That may, might be the case, or we could see those bears come in and uh, trigger a bit of a profit taking wave um, in the market pulling us back. So watch that closely. And, and I got to tell you guys, anytime I've ever seen this extended, this uh, indicator, this extended, we see some kind of a rest or pullback in the market. So be prepared for that. Watch for it and be careful not to be chasing too many things long, um, particularly if they're in extended positions already. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now we have a lot on our economic calendar to deal with. Uh, this morning and this could be significant for the day. So first off, we have retail sales. Now they are expecting retail sales to increase or to improve, but not the big dramatic um, improvement that we saw last month in retail sales. So watch that closely and, and it could we could have um, also that possibility that pandemic numbers have affected this. So if they were happening, if we were happen to miss on that expectation of an improvement, that could have negative impacts on the market. So watch that close. We also have import export prices. They can move the market around a bit, but not nearly as much as the retail sales. Industrial production numbers can definitely move us around. So watch that closely. They come out at 915 at 10. We get business inventories and the housing index. And then once again, we just have a virtual parade of Fed speakers today. It just goes on and on and on and on. So watch that closely as um, there's a lot of Fed speak out there. Whether we learn anything new is unlikely, uh, but um, you always want to pay attention when the Fed is out there talking. Um, so keep a close eye on that. And then remember, as you're planning your day forward, um, coming to the close of the day, remember we have a couple of reports tomorrow that could move us around. That'd be housing starts and permits and petroleum status. So um, just plan carefully as we move through the remainder of this week with some big news still yet to come. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And although we have fewer companies reporting earnings today, um, only around 30 companies, a little more than 30 companies reporting earnings, we have a few that are um, market moving type events and they have reported already this morning. First off, let's take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot reported this morning and they beat on expectations, but we have a pattern up here that's really starting to show a little bit of a uh, concern, I should say, in the market. Notice we're really range bound in a very, very choppy 
um, Home Depot chart. Just whipping back and forth in here with some pretty big candle swings um, in that move. Well, you can see after that big earnings report, the pre-market is actually um, showing a little bit of pressure here on Home Depot. They beat on earnings, but it apparently wasn't enough to satisfy investors. So we're pulling back just a little bit. Keep in mind that we could really be working on some downtrends here in this chart. And if we look at some of the technicals, um, breaking this 50-day moving average, notice our 50-day moving average is starting to, starting to flatten out and roll over. So if we were to break down below that 50-day moving average, then we do run into the potential of that profit taking um, coming into play here on Home Depot and that possibility that we could seek out that 200 day moving average eventually. So watch that close. We also heard from Walmart this morning, Walmart reporting good results. In fact, um, more than a 75% increase in um, online sales. Walmart really moving this morning, popped up big and pulling back. This is the pre-market. And that seems to be uh, pretty common with Walmart. And by the way, I hold this stock um, as a long-term trade. I don't trade earnings on a short-term basis, but I will hold um, on long-term. And as you can see, popping and pulling back, but I've seen this many times before. We'll get a big earnings, huge earnings move, and then we drop um, right after. Huge earnings move, and then we drop right after pretty common price action for Walmart so I wouldn't be at all surprised um, after this pop out um, um, in Walmart that we get a little rest or pullback in that chart um, we will hear from several other companies this morning um, um, JKS um, is on the list here we'll want to keep an eye on that we're gonna hear from Kohl's I think Kohl's may have already reported a little bit of back and forth going on there in that Kohl's report you'll want to keep an eye on that we will see um, some results from Lazy Boy today so let's um, keep an eye on lazy boy looks like we a little gap and pullback pop and drop so far on the day and um, se will be in there let's keep um, watch on that and then one of the really big high flyers uh, right now we're going to get some results from nio today so keep an eye on this one this thing has just been like a um, a rocket ship ride in a trend. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how those results um, are reflected, their earnings results are reflected in that price action. Watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find this video to be helpful in how you set up your day, um, help you in uh, putting together your ideas for the day, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and then also please feel free to share this video out there on any of your social media platforms. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at stock setting up. Now, I've mentioned this stock multiple times already. And with the market pushing down and the price action that we saw in this stock yesterday, um, I still have um, uh, an issue or a concern that Twitter could pull back. Um, notice this price action in here where we're consolidating underneath its 50-day moving average. This is not a bullish pattern uh, by any shape of the imagination, and this could end up being um, that short trade. Now, notice this morning, the pre-market action, we dipped down and we're trying to push back up and fight its way back higher. But let's watch that closely, that possibility that we could finally slip here on Twitter and maybe move down here toward this 200 day, 500 day moving average in the chart. Um, at a bare minimum, maybe retesting some support levels in that chart. So watch that closely. Um, with the market showing just a little bit of bearishness, now it's not the tech sector showing bearishness, but a little bit of bearishness. We'll wanna watch that closely. Another place that you wanna watch, and I've repeated this one several times, um, FCX, FCX moving up nicely. And yesterday I had I had a, a, a complex position on. I um, owned uh, the stock in FCX. I also owned calls 
on FCX. On that gap up yesterday, I took profits on my calls and then I sh sold um, short calls against my long term or my stock position, um, creating a covered call. Uh, trade. Now, I do think if you look at my drawings here on this chart that FCX has kind of extended itself just a little bit and we run that possibility of that rest or pullback here in the chart. So I'm watching that closely, but I think the story on copper is really, really good and I want to keep a close eye on that. Copper seems to be holding up very, very well. And with that in mind, take a look at other metals. My goodness, um, Alcoa big move yesterday aluminum coming up strong take a look um, breaking through this resistance in the chart now I wouldn't want to chase this today but I think any rest or pullback that holds this support level in this chart has um, an upside opportunity so keep an eye on that and then take a look at um, steel US steel making a big move yesterday been following this nice trend up as you can see popping through some resistance in the chart. Notice this is a substantial level of resistance in the chart and we're trying to break through. Now, once again, I wouldn't want to chase this today, but any kind of rest or pullback that holds this support level, holds in this trend, sets up that opportunity for upside move. While at the same time, we're seeing uh, these non-precious metals um, do very, very well. We're seeing the precious metals like gold and silver uh, continuing to struggle here. So be really careful with these. It seems odd to me that when we saw the US dollar um, weakening yesterday, one would expect we would see gold and silver strengthening, but they didn't. So watch that closely. Not sure what the future is on this. I, I would tell you that as we continue to print money, continue to pump stimulus into the economy, it would seem likely that gold and silver would catch a rally, but be really, really careful with it. It's one of those metals that's acting a little bit odd right here in the market. Um, a few other stocks that you might want to take a look at, and I'm gonna have to move quickly, I'm running out of time. Um, take a look at um, stocks like Costco. Costco moving up strongly. Some of these retailers looking very, very good, pushing up possible rest or pullback here in the chart could set up a nice opportunity uh, for more upside opportunity after breaking out and breaking through those resistance levels. Take a look at, um, we already mentioned Kohl's reporting today, Take a look at Kohl's and this big resistance level that um, it was dealing with in this chart. Breaking through that resistance level, I think is significant. Any rest or pullback in here that holds may have that opportunity for an upside move. Retail seems to be holding up and doing quite well in the market. Other places that you might look, even though we're struggling in some of these tech sector stocks, Apple is holding up pretty well. And as you can see, Apple, breaking through this downtrend and trying to consolidate that move, trying to prove to hold in here. So let's watch that closely. Apple could have that upside leg uh, to push on higher. Just be careful in knowing that our current trend is way over here. So we could see that possibility that this goes into a longer sideways consolidation or more of a range bound move where we bounce up and bounce between these levels in here. So watch that closely. Not exactly in the clearest path on this chart, but we are showing some bullish signs. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great success in your trading. Be careful out there. These uh, virus numbers and all of the vaccine news can really make for a very whippy market. We could expect um, intraday reversals, um, whipsaws, and then we could certainly expect overnight gaps that could be substantial. So be really, really careful. Plan your trading carefully. And when you have profits, remember to take some of those profits because they can quickly disappear in this market. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.